Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. It is a beautiful day to make something personalized together. I love easy DIY projects, and one of the easiest ones is to put vinyl on wine glasses, just like this. These are perfect for parties and special events, and they also make some pretty awesome gifts. It is so easy to personalize these wine glasses for any person or occasion. I'm going to show you how to make these pretty personalized wine glasses as well as some cute holiday glasses that would be so fun on your holiday table this year. Now getting the vinyl onto the wine glasses smooth and straight isn't hard if you know my tricks and I can't wait to share those with you in this video. So come with me so I can show you how to personalize wine glasses the easy way. To make personalized wine glasses, we'll want to begin with wine glasses. You can find these nearly anywhere, including the dollar store. You can use glasses with or without stems. It's totally up to you. I'm using these 20 ounce stemless wine glasses that I found on Amazon. The link is in the description if you would like to use the same ones. We'll also need some permanent adhesive vinyl to cut our designs from. I'm using glossy vinyl as well as holographic vinyl and some textured metallic vinyl. We also need standard grip transfer tape to get the vinyl onto our glasses. And I also recommend some rubbing alcohol to clean the wine glass surface first, as this will ensure that the vinyl will stick well. To cut the vinyl, I'm going to use a Cricut cutting machine for this project, specifically a Cricut maker, but you can make these on any cutting machine, including the Cricut Explore and the Cricut Joy. Now, if you do use a cutting machine, you'll also want the green machine mat, a brayer, a scraper, and a weeding tool. And that's it. So let me show you where to get these free, super cute designs for your wine glasses. Then I'll show you how to personalize them in Cricut Design Space, and then cut and apply them to your wine glasses. Step one, get my free wine glass designs. Just go to jennifermaker.com slash 353 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the designs by searching the page for design number 353 and then click it to download a zip file with SVG files for cutting on a Cricut or another cutting machine, DXF files, and printable PDFs for cutting by hand. I want to show you how to cut these designs on a Cricut cutting machine. First, upload the SPG cut file to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to do this, go to jennifermaker.com svgs to learn how. Here's what my personalized wine glass designs look like in Cricut Design Space. I've created a fill in the blank, cheers to years design. My design also includes six different adorable reindeer. These would be fun for a holiday party. And I'm also going to teach you how to personalize your wine glasses with a name or a date. I will explain how to use glyphs to add some pizzazz to your letters. And I'll explain exactly what glyphs are too, don't worry. We'll also go over one of the biggest questions I get about applying vinyl to wine glasses, which is how do you apply vinyl to a curved surface? I've totally got you covered here. I have a great trick for that, so just keep watching. Step 2. Prepare your design. To begin, we'll need to ungroup everything. Make sure the design is selected on your canvas and click ungroup at the top of the layers panel on the right. Next, pull the designs that you want to make to the side, and then left click and drag around the bounding box over the other designs that you don't want. You can click delete at the top right corner or just press it on your keyboard. All of the reindeer designs are ready to go. There's nothing that you need to change in design space. You can just click make it when you're ready to cut. For the fill in the blank cheers design, I will show you how to add a number to customize this for your special occasion. First, select the text tool on the left and pick a font from the drop down menu at the top. I'm going to select Amarillo, a font that I purchased from fontbundles.net, but feel free to choose whatever font you want. If you want to upload your favorite font to Cricut Design Space, just go to jennifermaker.com slash fonts for a detailed tutorial and video that walks you through the whole process. Now that you have your font selected, click on the text box on the screen and type in the number that you want to use. I'm using the number 14 for this design because Greg and I will be celebrating our 14th anniversary next year. 
Next, click and drag your number into position in the blank spot of the design. You may have to resize the number in order for it to fit correctly. To do this, click and drag the resize handle on the lower right side of the bounding box. Once positioned, you can change the color of the number. I'm going to change mine to match the wine in glass. To do this, select the number and click on the color box located next to the operation menu at the top of the screen. Then click the color red that is right under the material colors heading. All the colors in your design are included right at the top here. Now we need to attach the red wine and the number so they stay the same distance apart from each other when they're cut out. This will make it easier for us to line up the design when we layer it. So click on the design and click ungroup at the top of the layers panel on the right. Next, we're going to select the number layer and hold down the shift key and select the red wine layer. So with these two layers selected, click on attach at the bottom right side of the screen. And that design is ready to go. Next, I'll show you how to personalize a wine glass by adding a decorative name. These are fun for a dinner party or any celebration. You can use permanent or removable vinyl if you want to reuse the glasses. First, select the text tool on the left and pick a font from the drop down menu at the top. I'm going to select Amistary script that I got from fontbundles.net, but feel free to choose any font with glyphs that you like. So what are glyphs? It's a question I get a lot. <laughs> glyphs are those fun little extras that come with some, but not all, fonts. They are the swirls or hearts or extra designs that you can add to the front, back, or middle of your text to make it a little extra. A little extra cool, that is. <laughs> so like I mentioned, not all fonts come with glyphs. To find out more about fonts and glyphs, you can go to jennifermaker.com slash fontbundles dash tips. There's a ton of information and you can even preview them before you purchase a font. So here's how you can use them. First, you'll want to type your name. Now zoom in so we can see it closer. I'm typing Jennifer. To add a glyph, go to where your fonts are stored. If you're on a Mac, that's font book. If you're on Windows, you'll want to use the character map. These are both applications that you have on your computer. Now select the font that you're using in Cricut Design Space. This opens up a list of characters and glyphs. Find the one that you want to use and click on it to highlight it. Next, copy the glyph by pressing Command C on a Mac or Control C on Windows. Then we're going to go back to Cricut Design Space and in the text box, we're going to paste the glyph by pressing Command V on a Mac or Control V on Windows. So you're not confused. You will notice that the glyph will show on your canvas, but will not appear as a normal letter would in the text box. There will be a blank space or a box. You can repeat this for any other letter that you want to add as a glyph. When you have finished typing your name and adding glyphs, click on the canvas to close the text box. Next, I'm going to change the color of my name to blue since that's the color of vinyl I want to cut it out on. To do this, I'm going to select my name and click on the color box located next to the operation menu at the top left of the screen. Then click the color I want and I'm going to pick this middle blue color. Step 3. Cut the personalized wine glass designs. Now that we have everything prepped and ready, we're going to click make it at the top right of the screen. Next, we're going to cut out our designs. If you're using a Cricut Maker 3, Explore 3, or Joy, you will be asked if you want to cut without a mat, which you can do with smart materials. Or you can cut on mat if you're using you know, regular vinyl, or multiple ways when you're going to want to do both smart and regular materials. We will choose on mat for this cut. There is nothing to change on the prepare screen, so we can select continue at the bottom right of that screen. Now it's time to select the materials that we're going to use for our first mat, which is our reindeer's black eyes. We're going to select premium vinyl permanent glossy from the materials menu. Then I'm going to select more pressure to get a nice clean cut. Next, we need to place our black permanent vinyl shiny side up on our Cricut Green Standard Grip Machine Mat and burnish the vinyl to the mat using the brayer tool. Load your mat and press the flashing button to start the cut. When it's finished cutting, unload your mat. 
And then to remove the vinyl from the mat, you just flip the mat over onto your work surface and gently peel the mat away from the vinyl. This prevents it from curling. For our next mat, which is our reindeer antlers and ears, I'm going to use textured metallic vinyl in gold for this mat. So I click on Browse All Materials and click Premium Vinyl, Textured Metallic, and then press Done. And again, I'm going to choose More Pressure. Now place the gold textured vinyl on your mat with the shiny side up. Load it into your machine. Press the flashing button to begin cutting. When it's finished cutting, unload your mat and remove it just like I taught you before. For the mat with my name, we're going to select the Premium Vinyl Permanent Glossy from the Materials menu. Then follow the same steps to cut that mat out. We will use the same material settings for the Cheers 2 Years mat. And then finally, we're going to cut our reindeer bow and nose out of red holographic sparkle vinyl. So click on Browse All Materials again and search holographic sparkle vinyl and click Done. Once your vinyl is cut, you'll need to remove the excess vinyl to weed everything out. Step four, assemble your personalized wine glasses. All right, it's time to put everything together. First, get your wine glasses out and clean them with isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free cloth. This will clean any dirt or dust or anything at all off the wine glass, and that makes it easier for the vinyl to stick to the glass. I'm going to start with my cute little reindeer. The same concept applies to my fill-in-the-blank cheers design. So we're going to first layer our vinyl on the transfer sheet for both of these designs before we add it to the glass. First, lay out a piece of parchment paper the size of your work area and tape it down using painter's tape. This parchment paper will prevent your transfer tape from sticking to your work surface as you layer your vinyl. It doesn't matter what side of the parchment paper is facing up. Then we're going to cut a piece of transfer tape the size of our whole design. In this case, around three and a half inches. Then we're going to lay out our pieces of vinyl in the order that we're going to apply them. Our decorations are first, antlers next, then our eyes. Next, cut a piece of parchment paper slightly smaller than our three and a half inch transfer tape. Now remove the backing from the transfer tape and place the transfer tape onto the decorations and burnish it down using your scraper tool. Gently remove the transfer tape, taking the vinyl with it. Next, place the decorations on parchment paper, leaving a small amount of transfer tape hanging over the edge of the parchment paper. Burnish the decorations down onto the parchment paper and adhere the transfer tape to your work surface. Then slide the antlers under the decoration that are on the parchment paper and line up the bow in the right spot. The parchment paper on the back of your transfer tape allows you to perfectly position it on top of the next layer. Isn't that cool? Remove the parchment paper and burnish the bow down onto the antler piece. Next, continue burnishing the bow and antlers to the transfer tape. Then remove the vinyl backing of the antlers so that you have the decorations and the antlers on your transfer tape. Now line up the antlers to the eyes and burnish the transfer tape down so that you have the decorations, antlers, and eyes all on that piece of transfer tape. I didn't bother to use parchment paper here because the placement wasn't as tricky as the others, but you certainly could if you wanted. Gently remove the transfer tape, taking the whole design with it. Now, the secret to applying vinyl to a curved surface. To do this, you're going to need a pair of scissors to make the magic happen. So you just want to cut small slits all around the outside edge of the transfer tape. This allows the transfer tape and vinyl to bend around the glass and curve to the surface as it's applied to prevent creases in the vinyl. Place the vinyl on the glass about three quarters of the way up on the glass and burnish the vinyl from the center outward using your finger or the scraper tool. And here's a tip. If you have trouble with the glass moving around while you're applying the vinyl, you can set your wine glass in a roll of tape to keep it from moving around. Just keep it stationary so that you can work with it. All right, so once applied, gently remove all of the transfer tape. It will most likely peel off in separate pieces since we made the slits beforehand to apply the vinyl to the glass. And there you go. How cute is that? 
Now I'll show you how to layer the vinyl for the Cheers design. Cut a piece of transfer tape the size of the biggest piece. For this design, it would be our black vinyl Cheers to Years. Take your red wine slash year layer and burnish the piece of transfer tape to it. Gently remove the transfer tape, bringing the red vinyl pieces up with it. Next, place your black vinyl layer out in front of you and place a piece of parchment paper behind the transfer tape, just like we did for the first wine glass, as this is going to allow us to perfectly position these layers. Now just line up your red layer to your black layer. When it's positioned, press down on the top of the transfer tape, pull out the parchment paper, and burnish the whole thing down using the scraper tool. Again, removing the transfer tape, bringing the whole design with it. Apply the design to your wine glass as we did for the reindeer design. And be sure to cut slits into the transfer tape to help that vinyl adhere to your curved surface without wrinkling or folding. Now burnish it down and then gently peel it away. And there you go. Design number two is all done. And finally, we will add our decorative name to our wine glass. And we're going to use water to help make sure our name goes on straight. So just add some room temperature water to the glass and fill it about halfway. And the reason we want to use room temperature water is because hot or cold water produces condensation and doesn't allow the vinyl to adhere to the glass very well. So cut a piece of transfer tape slightly larger than the size of your design, place the transfer tape on top of your vinyl and burnish it using your scraper tool to make sure that vinyl adheres to the tape. I like to use the taco method, so hold the transfer tape in the shape of a taco and put the bottom of your taco onto the middle of your design. Smooth the tape over the decal from the center outward using the scraper tool. So once it's all burnished, gently pull the transfer tape off. The vinyl should come up with it. If the vinyl doesn't stick to the transfer tape, just place that transfer tape back down and burnish it with the scraper tool again. Once you have your design off the vinyl backing, cut small slits around the transfer tape like we did before. Be careful not to cut into your design. Now we will use the water line to help place our name in the right position and as straight as possible because the water is straight, right? Because you've got it on your, your table, your desk, which is straight. And so it's giving us a nice straight line to work with. So center the name on the glass using the water as a guide, making sure the bottom of each letter, except for the uppercase letter, is on the water line so we know they are completely straight. Smooth the vinyl down from the center outward using your finger, letting your vinyl slide into position. And there you go. Now you have some pretty personalized wine glasses to give as a gift or set out at your next party. These can also be used as a display piece to wow your holiday guests. Just pop in a battery operated tea light in the reindeer designs and let the fun begin. Now please keep in mind that these personalized wine glasses are hand wash only. Don't put them in the dishwasher or the vinyl will peel or even melt off and we don't want that. Also, I do not recommend sealing these with Mod Podge or anything like that. Mod Podge will leave streaks and it can make the glass look cloudy. And that's not the look we're going for with this project. They're so pretty just as they are. If you have any questions about making personalized wine glasses, just leave your question below this video or ask over at our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.